Sorry, we're a bit late. Well, let me just turn that off. There we go. All sorted now. Mm. So um, we're on today because... Oh, I've just found chocolate biscuit in my pocket. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're not having it. I'll share, but you're not having it. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so we're on today because um, we've got um, a, a class tomorrow uh, for the US trade. So um, unfortunately, I can't be with you and them at the same time at 4 p.m. So this is why we're doing it today on a Monday. Um, and we've decided that if things do crap up like that, we will actually just do a Facebook Live on a different day instead of just missing that out the whole week, which is just too long um, without seeing you all. So um, without further ado, what have we got on today, Alfie? Discounts yeah. well. Well, <laughs> right, OK. So um, there is a discount code above me there, which is Monday 20. So um, products that Kay is using, um, if you use, go onto the website, put Monday 20 into the voucher code box, you'll get 20% off. And um, there is also uh, like, comment and share for a chance to win a £25 voucher, which Ella will, Ella will draw tomorrow. That's it. That's me. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to see that uh, Mike and Ian have got a cuppa already. Um, so, hi everyone, nice to see you. Um, so, what am I going to do today? Um, well, um, I'm just going to be using um, some of my um, lovely artist papers. I'm going to be doing a tag. I'm going to be using our indigo blue dye. Um, I'm also going to be using a bit of luscious and um, uh, cheeky blossom as well. And um, before I start that, I just want to shout out to um, put in your diary our open day on February the 11th. Um, we've already got quite a lot of people coming, haven't we? An awful lot. So, um, so yeah, you might want to split it up and come in the afternoon or whatever, but um, we will do our best to accommodate everybody in our small place. I don't know how everyone's going to fit in, but we are um, putting up a, a small marquee for... Marquee? Are we? Oh, OK. <laughs> it's not a marquee, is it? It's a little sort of... Well, it's a big tent. It's a, it's a tent <laughs> <laughs> with heaters in it to have your tea and cake in. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really good fun. And we're also launching some new products as well at the end of the month. Is that the 27th, Alfie? This month? Yeah, on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a Facebook show on the 27th, um, which will be really good fun. Um, sorry, there's a dog just squeezing in here, <laughs> trying to say hello. Um, yeah, so the 27th, that's Facebook Live, uh, and that's a show, and that's uh, launching um, our new product. So we've got stamps, we've got stencils. Um, they are fabulous. You are gonna love them. All I'm gonna say is two words, William Morris just tune in um i think that's it for all the shout outs isn't it mm -hmm. um right okay i'll get started La hello everybody thanks very much for saying hi right mind out cheeky mind out good boy okay so i'm going to be using some of my um artist papers these come in a set you get two of each of seven designs um so you get a few of these natural ones which all work together um which i really really love using these and then you get some nice um bright ones as well those goes with the naturals um so you get some nice brights which are just lovely and um, so these I've done by hand and then we've obviously printed them so um, they're a lovely set and they're great if you want to do some quick crafting okay so um, I'm just going to go straight in there with one of our big tags uh, they're not the jumbo ones but they're sort of at the average size of those um, and for quickness I'm just going to get my grub and go out and just get this all over here. Lovely. Wipe the lid and on it goes. Could I trouble you, Alfie, for <clears throat> a drink? Because I can feel I've got a frog in my throat already. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, I've got that up there. Which bit shall I do? I think I'll use this bit. 
Yeah, there we go. So I don't cut it out first. I just lay it on on the um, on that first as a whole and let that dry and then I'll show you how I, I actually cut that out. In the meantime, um, let's get this stamped up. This is Cheeky Blossom. I love this stamp set. So you've got a really nice big blossom, um, some background stamps as well, which work really, really nicely for me. And I'm going to just do this in black ink. So look how deep that etching is. It's lovely. So just some black versify on the hair. Oops, a daisy. Thanks for joining us at such short notice. It's good to see you all. Thank you for coming. So um, this is going to go on here. Actually, I'm going to cut it out. So let's just place it over there. Gorgeous, a bit lovely, and I think what I'll do is um, I'll get some super fine on here, um, embossing because I'm going to colour it in with the um, with the luscious, and the luscious will not go over the emboss lines because it's sort of like a type of plastic, so it will resist that. There we go, let's give that a blast. So this open day, um, we're really looking forward to it. The machines will be on so you can see how we actually make our stamps. Um, Mike Deakin is coming down to demonstrate for us, which we're really excited about. Um, we've also got, um, I'm going to be demonstrating as well. I'm also going to be using, um, well, I'm actually going to be selling some of my artwork as well. So bring some cash. <laughs> um, and um, we've got obviously tea and cake going on and everything. So I've, I've cut that out. Um, we've got goodie bags as well, so that's all exciting. So everyone gets a goodie bag. Um, right, so what I've done is I've got my um, lovely dies here. These are a nice big size and you get, look at that, see that's about five inches approximately and you get three sets of leaves as well. So what I've done is I've cut a load of these out with the same paper that I'm using for the tag. And you've got those as well. So not quite a huge amount, but I've got quite a few. And of course it cuts really nicely. So those are gorgeous. And those are on special offer. And even if you've got some already, what have you got there? I can hear some well, rustling. Well, you've got your biscuit. He's got a packet of custard creams. <laughs> um, if you do, even if you've got these, you can always buy extra because it's so much easier to have more than one when you're cutting out. Okay, that feels nearly dry, but we'll just go ahead with it. So I get a sanding block just from your normal do-it-yourself place. And then that gives me a nice edge and then I don't have to mess up trying to cut it, cut it out. So you can see it gives you that lovely sanded edge there so the other edges I'll just go over. And I just like the, the sort of effect you get from that. And then I'm going to use a pencil to just re-establish that hole again. There we go. And just by pushing it in, 
like that it just coats it on the inside as well so you get a nice finish on that so what I'm going to do is because this is already patterned and lovely and you've already got layers on there there's not much you need to do to that stamping wise but I am going to just do a little bit with my calculus I know I didn't tell you that I was using this Alfie I do apologize so just so people know the, the products we knew about <laughs> are all in latest releases if you go on the website and those are the ones that have the discount kind of attached to them so I'm just gonna put and I'm just going to add a few more things as we go along. Yeah, because I changed my mind. As, because obviously I haven't done this before. I've sort of said I will use X, Y and Z. But you know what it's like when you start on a little project. You suddenly go, oh, this would look nice. Oh, I'll try this. So um, I do apologise because Alfie Zen just found out that I'm, I'm using calculus. <laughs> I love this. And Cheeky Blossom. And Cheeky Blossom as well. And Luscious. I'm using Luscious, aren't I? So that just adds to the layers on that. I'm going to have a, a small piece of, um, a scrap piece of grey board and I'm just going to stick that to this so that that's ready to use later on because I want to get some layering done with this. Okay. Um, I'm not going to put any more texture paste on it because the image has got some texture paste actually printed in there. But what I am going to do is I'm going to use some bits of um, lovely music paper. I'm probably going to use a bit of of this sorry silk which is lovely and then we've got all of these lovely bits as well so I think the first thing I'm going to do is just think about how these are going to go so I probably need some more papers here oh, this, is good. this is a scrap so Lisa, Lisa's asked, can you use a stamp block with that stamp or is it easier just to stamp without one? You can use a stamp block with it, but I just wanted just a, a hint of the stamp just coming across there and I didn't want it to be absolutely perfect. And you can see areas where I've held it down with my fingers and where I haven't. So I just did a little bit of free stamping there. So I'm just going to use um, my tearing rulers. Um, I love a torn edge, but it always goes off a bit awry when I'm doing it. So these tearing rulers are just fantastic for that. You get a really good edge on it, and at least it's straight. It doesn't go off at a funny angle. And I think actually I'm going to, I haven't done this for a while, I'm going to just put a little V in there. The rustling in the background is Alfie eating his... Yeah, um... I can't get in my biscuit, so I'm just going to have to eat yours and you can have No, mine. no, 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 get off, get off. <laughs> See, you're not having it. It's mine. Here you go, listen. Right, let's get all the crackling and noise over and done with. There you go, there, you. You, there you custard creams. Oh, I don't know. Well, it's four o'clock. It's tea time, isn't it? Um, so let's have... Let's have this roundabout. Actually, they're probably Ella's custard creams, aren't they? They are Ella's custard creams. Unfortunately, she's far enough away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's still at work. <laughs> but she'll be watching, you know. Mm. <laughs> she'll be shouting at the at the screen, mm -hmm. saying, "What are you doing, eating my custard creams?" You'll have to buy her a pack. So I've got some. Um, Phone pads on there just to lift there it up are a mine, little bit. She says. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> <laughs> so I think those are going to go round about there. Yeah, let's just put them on. And start faffing around. Um, 
So that out there. And this one's got two layers of foam pads just to make it a little bit higher. Um, because normally in my sketchbook, um, my art journal, I will usually um, layer things quite flat because you want to be able to close the, close the page. Um, although I do put a little bit of layering in. But with this, with it being a tag, I can do what I like, which is great. Is that dry? Not quite. have a little bit of colour around the edges as well. So this is um, this Van Clare Fallen Leaves. So this is a really rich dark brown which is just gonna really push your eye into the centre of the tag here. <coughs> Alice says she's always watching. <laughs> and Lorna said that's why I'm always on my best behaviour <laughs> what because I'll watch it yeah <laughs> thanks for the tea let me just take a slurp oh that's good okay so um, let's start thinking about how they oh that's going to look great isn't it that's going to look really cool Okay, so let's start layering this up on this level. Okay. So let's just squeeze a bit on here and let's just pop some of these through. Do have, there we go, let's have this bit. Over there. That's good. And then I think we need a bit round the bottom as well. So probably about about here. So I'm working in in threes going around. That's a nice one. Into the um, grab and go I'm using. That's good. Okay. Sort of. I'll just keep offering that up just to check that everything seems okay there. I think I might just put that one on as well. I want it sort of flooded with with leaves. Sort of this winter scene. <laughs> okay. So Lorna's asked if you can say hi to Orla. Because the grandkids are with Orla. Hello Orla. This is Kay sending you big kisses and a big hug. I hope you're having a lovely time with Gran. Is it Nana? Do you call her Nana or Granny? So I hope you're having a lovely time. And hello to Orla. Can you say hello to Orla as well? Hello, Orla. Hello, Orla. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to do shout outs. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just putting some more uh, pads on this just to, again, push it up. So is this going to be high enough, do you think? I think we're going to go again. <laughs> Apparently she was answering you. Oh. <laughs> Right, so we've got two lots of pads on these. Um, 
the pads that we have on our website um, are really good, nice quality, very, very, very sticky, which is great. I'm glad you told us about those as well. Um, because um, they're made by Sticks 2 for us, so they're really nice, yummy quality. <laughs> I'm laughing because Duke's now trying to get on um, Alfie's knee. He wants a cuddle. He wants a biscuit. Ah, uh, yes, actually. <laughs> probably does. Ah, uh, you see, that's that's the sort of thing I wanted. Lots and lots and lots going on. I think that might be enough, actually. No, it's not. Right, okay, let's get some ribbon. This is Sari Silk. I think if I just get my stapler, that will just hold it together. Oops, come on, put them both together. There we are. Right, so that can go on there. So the grab and grow will all hold this in nicely as well. Mike likes your stapler. I love my stapler. I've had it many, many years. I do like it's um it's called the tiny uh, tiny attacher I think by Tim Holtz I love it okay yeah this is we're getting there now we're getting there and then finally Two on this side so that it levels it up. That's going to go on there. There we go. Right, my lovely. Let's get um, let's get some of these out. So if you haven't seen these before. Um, these are Luscious Pigment Powders, so they are a powder, there's loads in here, it's um, a 25ml pot, there's loads in and you can mix them with lots and lots of different products, so you can add them to your clay, um, you can dust over clay once it's been um, cured um, or it's dry, you can put it onto um, plaster, um, put it into resin, it looks amazing in resin. Um, it's just an all-round amazing product. So I'm going to just use um, a small brush to um, colour these in. But first of all, I need to just mix it with some water. So this is called Rusty Bucket, and you get your brush, dip it in water, and then swirl it in here, and it collects a load of the luscious, and then you just put it onto your paint mat or an old um, plate or a palette, which are whatever you've got. But the good thing is because you're mixing it with water, um, it will dry out like this and then you can reconstitute it by just adding water. So the pigment has got mica in it, which gives it that lovely shimmer. And it's also got a binder in it, which makes it into um, like a paint. Um, but it's just absolutely brilliant to use and then we have our gorgeous Rapunzel which is like um, a really really beautiful uh, goldy yellow so what I'm going to do is um, I haven't tested out these colours so let's hope it works <laughs> I'm going to start off with a bit of rusty bucket on the inside Like this and then I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit clean it off 
and then I'm going to come into the Rapunzel and I like this to be the consistency of cream so it's quite thick so that you get a really good coverage with it and I'm just going to go a little bit over the top of that rusty bucket and just extend that to the edge of the petal so it mixes in the middle now you can see the, where I've been with the rusty bucket, the, the line work is coming back now because what happens is the the luscious resists the area that is covered in embossing powder whilst I've got this on. I'm just going to do it the opposite way around because I don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to do the edges of these petals here. I'm actually going to do that one as well. So my paintbrush runs out and then I'm going to come in with the rusty bucket. So I'm just going to put a little bit more in the middle there because I missed a bit. And then I'm going to use my rusty bucket just to sort of extend a little bit of the petal there. same with this so it, from the middle I'm painting up the petal to around about the middle mark I'm just going to mix that in a little bit just by doing little circles and again I'm coming into the Rapunzel and I'm just going to paint the top half First of all, I'm just going to go around all of these and then I'm just going to mix that in a little bit with the rusty bucket just so that you don't get a harsh line. There you go. Um, Everything goes silent when I'm painting. So I'm going over the whole of this area first and I'll come back in with a rusty bucket in a moment. So you can um, get these um, palettes. They're a, a Tim Holtz one. Um, we do have them on the website. Yeah, I've put the link up on the, um, in the chat. Thanks, Alfie. That's good. And they are worth getting because they're absolutely perfect for luscious, they really are. Oops, come here. Okay, uh, I am rushing a little bit. I'm sure yours will be much, much neater. So we just need a hint of hint of green. Um, let's go for something quite quite dark. Right, so we just need a hint of hint of green. Um, let's go for something quite. So this is copper green. So this is quite a a nice copper green dark olivey. So this is quite a it's on the blue side. There we go. Just a hint. Yeah. And you can just put that away and it will dry out and then you can just reconstitute it with adding a bit of water. I've put some labels on the top um, and just written on what colours they are and then you know which is which. So that was um, Rapunzel and um, Rusty Bucket that I used there. 
um, that's on there. I've got, um, I love putting little dangly bits on. This was actually a bookmark and this I actually made out of our diamond resin. So that's a, a stamp underneath and then the diamond resin on top and then a, a little cog on there. So that's going to go in here. Um, and I think I need it to be quite short, so I'm just going to put that through there. And I think I'll probably mess around with that afterwards, just so that it's high up like that. And then this baby is going to come on here. I love the fact that it's it's almost <laughs> it's almost an inch high. I love the fact that it's it's almost it's almost an inch high. It's not quite dry that, but I'll manage. It's not quite dry that, but straight angle. Straight angle. There we go. So I will I will tighten that up. But can you see how much how many layers we've got there, which is fabulous. Loads. I've really enjoyed doing that. Just a simple tag, but yeah, and I'll just sort out that as well. That's lovely. That was quick, wasn't it? Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to sort out that now and get that so it, it ties in quite high up. Anyway, thanks ever so much for joining me. Um, I'll put a picture on um, my Facebook page. Um, All of the products used are now in latest releases on our website. There you go. Thanks very much, Alfie. And don't forget, you've got a um, 20% discount on all the products that I've used in the show. And the code, you put the code in the little voucher box um, when you go to check out, and then you'll see that it actually takes 20% off everything um, in there. So that's 20, uh, Monday 20. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and share, please. That would be great. And um, my new Facebook page, which is K Hallowell Sutton with a capital S. Um, if you could go and like that for me, I'd really appreciate it. So thank you ever so much for joining me and we'll be back next Tuesday at four o'clock. So see you then.